All right, welcome back. Another video of the targeted individual program. Target individual express. Oh, it is really snowing out here. <laughs> so one of the things that they do, I guess from time to time, is to do these tests, right? Particularly when this comes to situation. When we're having a blizzard like we're doing today, or some type of festival celebration, you know, some type of holiday, they're always going to put you through some test, right? It is always an opportunity that they're going to take to put you through whatever test they want to put you through, right? Especially with me being, I have kids, and I'm sure other TIs who have kids can, uh, you know, understand, can understand. Particularly if you're a man, one of the things that they'll do, again, is try to get you to walk away from your kids you know so they're constant 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 prodding at you you know digging at you psychologically to affect your emotions to affect your you know your your thought patterns you know and it's 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 negatively right they do it to, to affect you and impact you negatively right and listen they know that that's not going to happen with me this, I've walked through what is it I've walked through t about 12 no 5 feet of snow literally from the train station all the way to when my first son was younger all the way to his mama's house took me 2 hours walking because there was no buses the buses can, you couldn't even uh, walk uh, drive on the street there was absolutely no buses it was shut down it was one of the biggest storms in uh, the history of New York All right this was in the in the early 2000s and uh, you know I had to walk back just just to spend a few about one or two hours with him and then to head back so they know <laughs> you know Maybe it might have been a little more than uh, two hours, maybe like three or four hours, right? So they know, right? But they always got to paint the narrative. And that narrative is that, you know, particularly these religious fanatics, is that because they believe in a God and believe in their Bible, that it gives them morality and it makes them good. All right, before your Bible and before your God, there was morality and there was good people. It was caring people, loving people, understanding people, people who taught, right? So, again, that's where they get their morality from and their goodness. If you take that away from them, you know, I mean, I show you guys exactly their true nature, which is evil, spiteful, vengeful, warlike, right? But then they want you to be passive because you don't believe in what they believe in. But they, but they don't want you to be like them in that way, right? So they'll preach to you about forgiveness and all this stuff. Meanwhile, they're attacking you and they do it psychologically because they think that they can get away with it, right? This is their mindset, okay? And this is how our mindset has to be, right? When we, when we confront them, okay? Sometimes even worse. Because let me tell you, I, put, I, post, I made a post on Facebook that says, power doesn't yield or take a step back in the face of another power right so when they're attacking you and you're docile they're going to continue to attack you and they're not going to stop it's only when you find the power from within you to fight back then you'll see a difference All right not just in yourself but you make your enemies understand that when they come at you right that they themselves might be injured or will be injured. Talk to you guys in the next video.